Hello and welcome to the Broken Lobo Gaming Channel. Uh, this video focuses on Uncharted 4 Chapter 17. Uh, the elevator encounter, incredibly difficult, so I have some tips and tricks for you guys. Let's get into it. Alright, this mission, um, you're going to want to focus on managing your ammo and then also trying to be as accurate as possible. I know that sounds like um, obvious advice, um, but you really don't have many opportunities, um, you know, to take these guys out. Um, there is literally no ammo unless um, you're harvesting them from a dead enemy, so um, you're going to really want to be careful about how you take out the first uh, five guys. Um, want to um, have at least 10 bullets by the time you get to this point in the video. Um, and you want to focus on not shooting the guys that you're looking at here. You want to focus on taking them out um, with a grenade. Uh, and then taking this guy out. Um, usually I'm able to just jump off the elevator car, but um, this time I kind of jumped on a ledge and had to pull him down. Um, but typically you can just jump off the elevator car um, knock them out and save some bullets. Um, now this is what I would call the second level of the fight. Um, you're going to be encountering a heavily armored enemy with an ACR-160. Um, and then you also have um, a fodder enemy right on the ledge just to sort of make your life difficult. Um, ideally what you want to do is you want to lure him to the ledge so you can pull him down and take his gun and uh, add even more ammo because you're going to need it uh, for this next part. Um, so in this second phase of the fight, um, you need to worry about a rocket launcher guy um, to the left and then also to the right of that guy is a sniper. Um, you can obviously see the um, laser sight um, and so it makes sense for you to take this guy out first. Um, you don't want to just shoot willy-nilly, you want to try to use three to five bullets to take out both the uh, sniper and then also the RPG enemy. Um, and uh, for both of these guys, what you don't want to do is jump to the ledge that's directly, I guess the second level, um, the ledge that's directly beneath the ledge where you can actually climb up onto the platform. Um, you don't want to do that because you'll expose yourself and be killed uh, pretty much immediately. And what you want to do is jump to the uh, second level of this structure. Essentially, you want to get to eye level with him. Um, at this point in the video, I'm trying to figure out how I can shoot him um, without exposing myself. Uh, but I'm not having any luck trying to shoot at him from a downward angle. I have to try to um, get level with him. Um, and once I'm able to do that, uh, it becomes possible to take him out. And again, you want to try to um, use the least amount of bullets as possible. Um, it should take three to four uh, bullets to take this guy out. Um, essentially, once you get to the top of this platform, um, you want to have, I'd say, at least 15 bullets uh, because you're going to need them. So at this point in the video, um, I think that I figured out that I need to be on the second level. I need to be um, more level with him in order to um, get a shot off. So now I'm just positioning myself. I found the sweet spot. And the thing is that you want to shoot him um, quickly but with control um, because you're exposed and he can shoot you from that position. Um, now this part is kind of tricky. Um, you're going to want to make sure you have at least one grenade and you don't want to throw it on the platform that the armored guy is on. Um, my advice would be to um, look at the AOE indicator and when it looks like it's sort of bunched up at his feet, that's when you throw it uh, because that knocks off his helmet and then um, makes him susceptible to a headshot, um, which I just did. Otherwise, um, you're obviously not going to outgun him with only 15 bullets from a handgun. Uh, so it behooves you to try to soften him up a bit with that grenade before you get to this platform. Again, 
Um, it'll be more of the same here, sort of just hanging off the ledge, making sure you're not using um, a lot of ammo, trying to be as accurate as possible. Um, and there are about two to three guys here that will throw grenades at you periodically, so um, you'll have to jump up to the sledge here, but um, you don't want to spend a lot of time there. Um, so the second guy comes, he's obviously in position for you to take him out pretty quickly. Um, and then once you do that, you can jump up to the ledge and then there's just one more guy for you to take, off, uh, take out to the right, as you can see here. I actually kind of jumped up out of necessity because I was running out of bullets, but then I realized there was no one else. And there you have it. This is the worst mission of all time, but I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.